Today I've got an amazing recipe to show you how to use that leftover roast chicken, or in this case, roast duck, to make an amazing brunch dish that you're gonna want any time of the day. Anytime there are leftovers, you know what? This is gonna make you wanna keep extra food in your fridge at all times. Let me get started and show you exactly. Mmm, how this is done. God, that's delicious. Okay, to start this dish, I'm gonna start by cooking the grits first. And the grits ratio is um, one to four, which is one quarter cup of grits to one cup of water. So it's one fourth of a cup to one whole cup is one to four. Um, one part to four parts. Anyway, um, I have my little pan right here. I'm only making one serving, so I'm only gonna use a quarter cup of the grits. And what I also have is some wonderful, lovely duck fat that I used before uh, whenever I made a pan roasted duck. And I'm going to just kind of go ahead and skim off the top layer of the congealed fat. And I'm gonna use that to make the egg, to fry the egg. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of that and put it in my skillet. That's kind of a lot. And duck fat is very rich, it doesn't take much. So I'm gonna put maybe a teaspoon of the duck fat there. And I'm gonna take the rest of this and measure out one cup in my measuring cup. And this is gonna impart so much flavor into the grits. All right, so I have about half a cup there and I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut it with water because this is very concentrated and put enough water in here to make one cup. And we can always add more seasoning. This is just gonna impart a massive amount of flavor just having that little bit of duck fat in there. Okay, put this guy away and clean up a little bit of water. So we're gonna let this come to a boil before we add in our grits. Okay, our water is boiling, but I wanna taste it real quick to see if we need to add any more seasoning to it. Mm. It needs just a tiny little pinch of salt. There we go. And I'm gonna amp that up by putting just a little bit of butter in there as well. I think maybe a teaspoon of butter would be nice. It's always important because you can always add, but you can't take away. So season it as you go. Oh my gosh, that's very rich flavored. And I know that it's just gonna make the grits amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my grits, give it a stir and turn the heat all the way down to low. I'm gonna cover this and let it go for about five minutes. While this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and shift over here to my skillet. And this is where I put the duck fat in earlier. So we're gonna get this fat nicely melted and soft enough to where it runs all over the pan, just kind of freely on its own. And as soon as that's done, then we're gonna go ahead and fry up the egg. It's been five minutes, let's check this out. The grits are thickening up. I'm gonna give them a little bit of a stir. We don't want them to get too dry, but we certainly don't want them to be too wet and loose either. So I think once I kill the heat, they'll go ahead and thicken as they stand and it's happening already. It's perfect. Look at that, it's great. All right, give them a little taste. Mm. I think perhaps just a pinch more salt and that should do it. Mm-hmm. That is a flavor bomb. Oh my word. Okay. So we're gonna move this guy off of the heat. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn this guy with our melted duck fat onto the burner right here. And I know I turned the burner off and that's quite all right. I need the residual heat to go ahead and cook the egg. Okay, to get the egg going, I have the duck fat that's nicely rendered and you can see it's loose and free flowing into the skillet right here, which is perfect. So I wanna take the egg and I'm gonna crack it on a flat surface, just like that. And very carefully, break it right into the duck fat like this. Beautiful. I'm gonna turn the heat on, and I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit because I do want that lacy, crispy edge around the, around the egg. Hit it with just a little bit of salt, just a little bit of fresh pepper, 
and we're gonna let it magically fry up. Now, while the egg is cooking here, I'm gonna go ahead and take my grits and serve them into a bowl. So I take my grits, and pour them just like this into the bowl. Just move it over just a bit. Perfect. Now I want the egg to be kind of sunny side up, so I'm going to take the lid to my pan from earlier and just kind of put it over the egg, and that way the steam is going to go ahead and cook the rest of the white without overdoing the yolk. And that'll take maybe one to two minutes, but stay in close and keep an eye on it. So my egg is done. I kill the heat. I'm going to go ahead and pull this lid off. And you can see right here, the white is completely done. The yolk is still pretty runny, so now I want to take it and just very lightly put it on top of the grits like that. Beautiful. Move this guy out of the way. The next thing we're going to add is some leftover cut up duck breast that we have right here. I've crisp up the skin just a little bit. So I put these pieces right here around the egg, which is perfect. I take the darker pieces and put them over here just to kind of make a little bit of a crown, I suppose. And take the super crispy part and put it there. All right. And the next thing we have is a little bit of garnish. I'm going to put in a little bit of freshness. So I have some super fresh parsley that I'm just going to chop up right here. Sprinkle on. There we go. And just to give it just a little bit more moisture, a light drizzle of olive oil, another tiny little pinch of salt, a little pinch of gunpowder seasoning because I want a little extra spice in there. And there you have it. This is the best way to use leftover roast duck. You can even use roast chicken. Crisp up the skin a little bit. Use the broth and the pan drippings for a wonderful, wonderful addition instead of water to make it with grits. You can even use steamed rice. And there you go, breakfast is served.